Welcome to Zoological World today we are discuss about flea fleas are tiny blood-sucking insects that live on the external body of a host. They are a constant annoyance for cat and dog owners. More than a billion dollars is spent every year on treatment. While their bites generally cause nothing more than itching and pain, they have been known to transmit diseases to people. They were largely responsible for the transmission of the bubonic plague from rats to humans in the Middle Ages. People can also develop allergies to repeated bites. Fleas normally take avian or mammalian hosts, but some species infest reptiles as well. This article will cover some interesting facts about the identification, prevention, habitat, and diet of the common flea. Incredible flea facts. Fleas are extremely tough. They may have evolved to withstand immense pressures when the host tries to crush them. Fleas pass through four different life stages. Eggs, larva, pupas, and adults. The larval stage involves a series of three molts to grow progressively larger, while during the pupa stage they weave a silk cocoon to transform into an adult. It takes about three to four weeks to reach the adult stage. They can live anywhere between two months and a year. One of the most interesting facts is that fleas can leap up to 7 inches vertically and 13 inches horizontally. Given their small size, it's one of the most impressive jumpers relative to body size in the entire animal kingdom. Flea species, types, and scientific name The scientific name for the flea order is Siphonoptera. This is derived from the combination of two Greek words, siphon, meaning tube, their blood-sucking apparatus, and apteros, meaning wingless. There are an estimated 2,000 species spread across more than 240 genera. Some of the most common types include cat fleas, bird fleas, and rat fleas. How to identify fleas Fleas are small wingless insects, rarely measuring more than an eighth of an inch long. The small size can sometimes make identification difficult, but adults are characterized by black or brown bodies, bulbous or rounded at the back, with hard plates and various hairs and bristles directed backward. A long proboscis emerging from the mouth enables them to pierce the skin and suck the blood of its host. Their long legs are well adapted for jumping and also covered in strong claws that grasp the host's body. Brown or black fleas often turn a shade of red after sucking up blood. The larvae, by contrast, look nothing like the adult. They have a long segmented worm-like body with short bristles instead of legs, no eyes, and mouthparts adapted for chewing. When the larva grows large enough to transform, it will often seek out dark spaces anywhere in the house or on the ground and then weave its cocoon. Some species can actually delay their development until they sense a host nearby. Vibrations, body heat, or carbon dioxide exhaled from a nearby animal are often triggers for the pupa to emerge from the cocoon and attach to the host. How to get rid of fleas Fleas are most likely to enter the home by taking a pet as a host. Both cat and dog owners should be especially vigilant for signs of infestation in the house. In order to treat your pet, a veterinarian will recommend either an oral insecticide in capsule or tablet form or a topical insecticide applied between the shoulder blades. This should kill adult fleas or prevent them from reproducing for about a month. Once your pet has received its treatment, you should use a powerful vacuum or steam cleaner on the bedding, carpets, floors, and upholstery every day especially where you know your pet has been, for several weeks. The vacuum bag should be disposed of immediately after each use to prevent the fleas from immediately returning. Wash the infested bedding in hot water and dry it at the highest possible heat setting. Finally, you can use an aerosol spray, preferable not a fogger, to ensure any remaining fleas are killed. Chemicals like permethrin normally work for adults, while methoprene or pyroproxifen will work as a form of pest control for the egg, larva, or pupa stage. Pets can pick up fleas from your yard, so make sure there isn't any tall grass or debris where the insects can hide. They do not usually stay in exposed areas. Check the area where your pet has just been around the yard. Employing all of these strategies at once will help with the prevention of any future infestations.